In the Rinder Saal, where Allah slumbered. <laughs> Institute Manumata has an otherworldly, dreamy quality to it. Am I living in a fairy tale? Like the short puppet animations by the brothers Quay, Benyaminta plays with space, light, and perspective in a way that unsettles narrative and cultivates a sense of curiosity in the viewer. In many ways, the story seems to belong to Jakob. Perhaps I shall never put out roots and branches. The Quays loosely adapted the film from a novel called Jakob von Guten by the Swiss writer Robert Walzer, so the source material bears his name. Then, Jakob's arrival at the Institute appears to initiate the narrative, and much of the voiceover is his. From now on, it can only be evening in this world. However, it is Lisa Benjamin's psyche that permeates the reality of the Institute. Even before we meet Jakob, the film opens with a sequence that feels like a dream. A foggy vignetting of the image, a series of talismans. A close-up of Lisa's reclining face, sweat droplets on her skin. An animated set with a man approaching, as if to imply that she has conjured Jakob from her imagination. Like Mark Danielewski's novel House of Leaves, or Andrei Tarkovsky's film Stalker, the physical space of the Institute lacks coherence. In one scene, Jakob walks into a door, through a hallway with an anamorphic painting, and out the other side, only to end up where he began. It is as if he entered the mind of the Institute itself in his explorations. Likewise, Lisa's personal spaces have an unreal, imaginary quality. The brothers Quay, true to form, do not give us full geographic context for how the corridors of the Institute fit together. Instead, they allow an impression that the space expands and contracts as needed. When we pass through the circle of the chalkboard to enter Lisa's chambers, perhaps we walk into a fantasy space or a dream, or a perverse sort of Narnia. Film scholar Suzanne Buchan writes, The film's epiphanic moments and dreamscapes provide a momentary orientation, but are themselves even greater enigmas within the film's poetic fabric. The Quays pattern their approach to the narrative of Institute Benumenta more like ballet or opera, opting to focus on choreography and minimizing dialogue. As with a genre like ballet, the filmmakers would have us retain some openness as we encounter the narrative world. I've finally been inside the inner chambers. And I have to say, they don't exist. Instead of a mystery, there's only a goldfish. The Quays would have us retain our sense of curiosity and take pleasure in the confusion, in the choreography of people in space, and in the textures of this reality, this dream people call human life. I'm Lara Ivans. Thank you for watching.